Okay, The Witcher 3 came out last week, so there probably isn't anything I can say in this video that you haven't already heard on, like, every website out there. So excuse me if I don't give you the normal blow-by-blow -blow video. Instead, here's the gist of the game. The game is really, really good. Did you like the previous Witcher games? You'll more than likely love this one. Do you like RPGs at all? You'll more than likely love this one. I've got a confession to make. I've never played the previous Witcher games. I did pick up Witcher 2 a few weeks ago, but didn't get very far. I've never read the books, and I've never seen the movie or TV series, so I'm pretty sure when it comes to my knowledge of the story and lore of The Witcher, I rank somewhere between incompetent and downright oblivious. But that's okay, because The Witcher 3 lets you know what it's all about in the first few minutes of the game. Blood? Oh god! Oh. Ugh. Guts. Oh, it's coming again. Oh. And butts. Huh. Odd that I censored this and not this. Oh god! Ugh. And let's not forget story. Lots and lots of story. Which is good, because The Witcher 3 is well written, acted, and looks great. On that note, I played this on the PC, and quite frankly, the game looks gorgeous. Wait, what? It doesn't look as good as a demo that was shown how long ago? <gasps> this is obviously a scandal of the highest priority, you f whiners. The game looks better than pretty much anything else out there, has the gameplay to match, and you're f***ing complaining? That's like eating the best meal you've ever had in your entire life and just saying, eh, it looked better on the menu. <sighs> I can't even just... Let's move on before I hurt someone. Now, seeing as this game is so story-based, I'm not really sure what I can and can't say without it being considered a spoiler. So here we go. You play as Geralt of Rivia. Should I have put a spoiler on that? Let's just say you're on an adventure, and it's a doozy. I've put about nine hours into the game at this point, and I'm pretty sure I've barely scratched the surface. So far, the game has been broken up into several maps, and they are really damn big. You'll ride through these maps on your trusty steed Roach, and no, I did not name him that, completing side missions, exploring, and following the story. And Gwent. Gwent is an amazing card game that you can play inside the game of Witcher 3. I won't explain all of the rules here, but it is highly addicting and is honestly worthy of a game of its own. Please, developers, give us Gwent. The quests in the game vary. You've got your normal go here and kill this variety. However, when someone tells you to go and kill something, it's not going out and killing just a bunch of dogs. Well, sometimes it is. But most of the time, it's other things like demons or wraiths or griffins. You know, the cool monsters. And in another quest, you'll use your Witcher senses to help solve a crime. That's kinda cool. You're like a medieval Batman. You even kinda sound like Batman. Harsh as punishment goes. Combat is basically action combat. It should be noted that after testing the control schemes of keyboard and mouse versus controller, I went with the controller because it seemed way more intuitive. You have a button for quick attack, a button for strong attack, another button to parry your block, a button to choose your spells and items, a button to cast your spells, and all of the other buttons use your items. I suck at combat in this game, but the times I do well is when I seamlessly incorporate spells, swordplay, and items into the fight. It rarely happens for me due to the aforementioned sucking, but when it does, it's glorious. Did I mention this game has gore? Because I just topped that guy's head off. Oh, it's coming back. Ugh. Frankly, there's a lot to experience here. There's a good amount of depth to character progression. The story is highly engrossing. Running through the map on your horse is almost cathartic. My only real complaint is that while on foot, sometimes Geralt handles like he is a horse. But that's a minor complaint. At the end of the day, this is a great RPG, and it's setting the bar pretty high for any games coming out in the next few years. So now we have a new Dragon Age game, a new Witcher game, your move, Elder Scrolls. And you better come quick, because if the Witcher 3 devs put out a Gwent game, you're never getting played. And that was The Witcher 3. I have never seen so much blood and boobies in my entire life. Well, there was that once, but we never talk about that. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos. I've also put two other videos for you to watch right up here. You can also follow me on Twitter if you really feel like it. And if you really want to help out the channel, you can donate to me on Patreon, like these other Witchers, who I'm all fairly for certain have extremely ripped abs.